Uh, let me start recording here, and then uh, we'll get started. <clears throat> Every journey has an originate. Recording has an in progress. Every journey has an origination and a destination. How long of a pause you, you uh, wanted to bring that? Every journey has an origination and a destination. This gets the heart going a little right here. Love it. 15. So good. Viking Lord may claim the thunder. But we bring the light. 10 seconds. Step up. 5, 6, 8, 7, 6, and 5. It's the lead forward. Oh, yeah, 3, 1, 2, 3. Perfect. All good? Yep. From the darkness into the Southern California sun, came the cart. So I went to school for sport management and broadcast journalism. Clearly, I'm using both of those. But what I really liked about operations is the amount of planning and effort that goes into a game day is usually returned pretty quickly. Um, but there's an infinite amount of things to learn in this business, in this industry. So it's important to remember a lesson that my grandfather taught me, which is you have two ears and one mouth. If you use them in that order, you'll learn an awful lot. I'll tell you, I didn't know how to run a lake until nine months ago. One of the great things about Hollywood Park and SoFi Stadium on game day is that there is so much that is beautiful here outside of just the actual built stadium environment. So having a, an opportunity to have the green space and lake area available to the public during the week and on game day before the kickoff is a really cool thing to have. What it means for us is that we have a public safety interest around this water. We have had a couple individuals who have ventured into the lake. They have all made it out safely. What's up, Jaquan? So our next step here is to pre-stage a couple of quick response boats. So if someone were to go in the water, our public safety officers could grab and utilize these boats in order to rescue any individual or perform any function that they would need within the waterways. You're trying to, you're trying to jet out of here or what? <laughs> Uh, I'm Chris Smith. I'm Habit Equipment Manager. I've been with the team 32 years. We're in the equipment room in Costa Mesa, and this is where we do the majority of our work. It's Saturday morning, and we're getting ready to head up to the stadium to set up. You see we've got our player bags ready to go to move up to Inglewood. This is Joey Bosa's bag, so we've got his helmet, and he's packed his knee and thigh pads in here, his gloves. Uh, we've got his jersey already on his shoulder pads, and we protect it with a, a trash bag, so if there is dirt, on his cleats or whatever, it's not gonna get on his nice jersey. When the players pack their bags, we go through them to make sure everything's in there. And we've got a little checklist in our heads just to make sure that they haven't forgotten something because it does happen. Between myself and my assistants, we, we cover that pretty good. So this is, this is all our different helmet parts here, putting together helmets, fixing helmets, whatnot. Um, over here, you can see next week, we have our salute to service game. So we've got all the hoodies and t-shirts ready to go. This was the jersey that Austin wore in Philadelphia last Sunday. It was never washed, obviously. He traded with Boston Scott. So Austin's gonna come back and sign this jersey and then I'm gonna send it on to Philadelphia to Boston. So we'll have everything ready to go by 11 o'clock this morning. It's a matter of just moving the, all the equipment that's been packed out to our movers and they'll load it on the truck. Obviously, having a new stadium has given us a, you know, a wealth of <laughs> tools to play with. I mean, first and foremost, the, the video board is just so unique, so large. It almost brings that arena feeling into a 70,000-seat stadium. It's double-sided, so if you're sitting low, you're looking up inside. If you're sitting high, you're looking at the outer. And then the five levels of LED ribbons we have, which when that's in sync with the video board, and you know you have the right music, and you have you know the right the right visuals. It all kind of comes together as like this really cool symphony that it feels very immersive. I think. 
know, we always call it uh, game presentation, fan experience, but to me it's more like a game invitation. Come along with us. I don't want to present a show to you. I want you to come with us and be part of it because in football more than any other sport, you really can impact the, the game. And if you uh, are having fun, then the players are having fun and hopefully we're winning. We score over here, come over, we'll hit it. Obviously, my job's extremely fun. Go, Louis. And I get to, you know, tell people to, you know, run out of a tunnel or fire a cannon or burst the CO2 and get the crowd fired up. But we've been able to curate a, a crew that's the best of the best. It makes my job a lot easier. I'm so used to being on fields all the time that I just automatically, like, step <laughs> over the paint no matter where I am. SoFi has been awesome, actually, and the Chargers. So one of the, I guess, bigger challenges is is the, the scale of the stadium. And so what can we do to make this a wow moment for everyone? So each of these pods has four different uh, CO2 tanks in them and then two jets. But on touchdowns, this is what gets shot off um, as part of the celebration for about a three-second duration. So what are those moments that we can show people behind the scenes in a really unique way, but they also feel like they're part of it. And that comes down to them filming and showing what we have created behind the scenes. So the lighting in the player tunnel and the lasers and different moments like that, you might not see that on the field, but you see that as they're coming out of the tunnel. Staff likes to come through and just have a, a good energy moment. Pete Soto and Sean Tabler are kind of the ones that conceptualized this whole idea with us um, and then kind of created this look. So they come down here and we like to just have fun with them. <laughs> we worked really closely with uh, a handful of our vendors to build some props that really accentuate our brand and like to who we are. You know, one of the latest additions was the plasma ball. You know, you put your hand on it, the electricity comes up and touches you, and the players can actually go in and bolt up before they take the field. I feel like we're really just scratching the surface on where we're going to be able to take this eventually, but we're, we're all very impressed and very happy with where, where we're going right now. So my role here is to oversee a couple of fairly critical things. The turf and playing surface on game day, all of the housekeeping that occurs within the site, the landscaping outside, and some of the daily operational function, including NFL technology uh, here within the stadium. This black card is really the, the heart and the brain behind sideline technology. All of the coach to coach communication for all of the headsets, so it might be one of the smaller cards, but it is by far one of the most important, which is why it also gets placed on the 50. Wherever that coach decides to roam, he's got to be able to be connected. This big boat here is the Microsoft phone card. So in here are ring down phones that connect to any number of different places throughout the stadium. Let's say there's a special teams call. You pick up the special teams phone. The special teams phone will ring to the home coach's booth and ring to a special teams labeled phone in that coach's booth. So. Uh, you'll notice uh, I didn't press any buttons. No reason to press the buttons, it rings directly. There's a lot of things to remember on game day. Phone numbers aren't one of them. Probably important to remember if the owner's phone rings, though, you pick that one up right away. So this is the player's equipment. So each player has a bag and we'll hang up the uniforms, jerseys, pants, one thing at a time and knock it out in about an hour. And this is a good example of how we set up a locker. We put the uh, shoulder pads and jersey on top. We hang a sweat jacket in here. Here's his pants. His helmet's here. Knee and thigh pads, gloves, and cleats and shower shoes down there. And we do every locker the exact same way. And we try to do it the same way on road trips, too, just so the guys are used to knowing exactly where their stuff is. So this is staff. So that would be trainers, video, and equipment managers. And we have all of our shoes, our socks, our pants, our belts, our polos, and hats. So everybody from head to toe is going to have everything they need for the game. Yeah. All right, so it is 6.30 right now. We're so heading up to the team hotel. We're gonna do some meetings, uh, go over some last minute polish uh, with the offense and you know get 
Coach Staley's last words of wisdom um, before we take the field tomorrow um, and really just getting a good night's sleep away from your know, family and friends. That's why we go kind of isolate in the hotel. My favorite part, honestly, of staying in the hotel is that we get my favorite pasta, which is uh, penne and Alfredo. And I, you know, we can make like a create your own pasta with uh, our catering there. So I actually look forward to my pasta every Saturday night. NFL game day morning, week 10. So it's game day. My team got here pretty early. They were here at 4 a.m. There was an event uh, right across the way at the YouTube theater. What's unique about us sharing a stadium is that often we don't have a full day to load in. You know, sometimes it's an overnight load in. And, you know, coming off of a very strange 2020 where fans were not allowed in the building, it's the first time that SoFi experienced 70,000 NFL fans. Um, so these gates uh, see about 50% of our guests. Um, and there's photo opportunities, there's a DJ. So it's really lively down there. I wake up on a sunny morning and a little hop in my step and I get excited about game days and that's that's why we're here. I mean everything everything we do is about that game, you know, and that's so it's the pinnacle of, of everything for our job because everybody enjoys being part of the team and getting get the team ready to play. All right, we're making the pads of Austin Eckler today. Sorry, you gonna give me some pops. Pretty excited. All right, so I've set our frequency for the day. Frequencies are all allocated by the NFL um, so that we don't step on each other's frequencies when we're trying to shoot stuff on game day. So we've got two sets of padding here just as extra protection for our equipment. So I'm going to place the mic between these two pairs of pads here. So now that that's iron on the back, I'm going to go around and do the front side of the pads. So this is the actual mic element. This is where the audio is actually captured. So I'm going to find a place underneath the pads here. I'll wrap it around. Mic placement's important uh, for a couple of reasons. One of them uh, is to get a good audio feed, so no rustling, no wind, <laughs> but also in a place where it's close enough to their mouth that you, uh, you're you getting a, a good feed of their voice. Hey, boys, yeah, boys, yeah, boys. Make sure that the, there's no movement here on the, on the mic. It's not gonna come off the pads at all. I'm good here on the top, and then we're done. We're just over six hours from kickoff. Been here for about an hour already. Um, just getting everything settled, getting my little station set up here, making sure all our multi-viewers are ready. We reset the boards, just make sure everything's in sync, everything's ready for us to go. Okay. Oh, Look at this guy, the hard knocks going on for right now. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. So a big part of our run-up to kickoff is a spoken word piece with our legend, Sean Merriman and we'd like to make the script as timely as possible to really accentuate that week's matchup. So that was something we just got shot with him Friday night. Today, we are the storm. Got it delivered yesterday. So we went through that, made sure it looked good, and we're ready to test it in stadium today. Kind of the whole choreography of the run up to kickoff really starts just about 12 minutes out from kickoff where we get into some really tight timing. Uh, that's where the spoken word with Sean Merriman kind of leads us into visiting team introductions. And that's all getting ready for our team to take the field. I uh, just got done getting ready this morning, about to head down and get some breakfast, uh, hang out with the guys a little bit before we head over to the game. But I got this beautiful view over this golf course. Uh, it's a nice, nice view to wake up to. You can't really see, it's kind of blurry, but like I said, I love to keep the shades open so in the morning, have this this California sun hit my face and it uh, wakes me up naturally and I feel like I'm just energized, ready to go. So looking forward to today's game. We'll see y'all out there. We'll see y'all out there. We'll see y'all out there. We'll out there. <laughs> My name is Vic One. I'm the DJ for the Los Angeles Chargers. We're on the energy stage right here. Got my man Danny, he's the host. And we have fun, man. We ha I have my CO2s right here. We blast off for touchdowns, extra points. The cannon, this is an instant replay 360. I'm able to hit. And then when we kick the ball, you add that guy right when the ball's kicked. You know, so um, the trusty 360 right here, 
I love you. I take care of you. I have a nice cushiony case for it. You know, we take care of it. So this is everything that you need to operate an entire NFL team on a sideline with never leaving. What we're doing here right now is getting this all lined up on a bunch of carts that we have with field safe tires on our cart, field safe tires on our trailers. Makes a nice experience for our field and ground staff too. I think timing gets a little anxious because minutes are important. And if we're off 10 or 15 minutes, that can actually mean a lot for us. If we can get all of the equipment to the sideline, we should be fully ready for game day by 9 a.m. So we're unloading the field equipment now onto the field. By NFL rule, all that equipment needs to be on this side of the yellow line. That way or this way? Not the other way, right? yeah. So this is our primary sideline trunk. And we've got a little bit of everything in here. You have the coaches' whiteboards down here, all the way to helmet parts, spare hats up here in case the guy wants a hat on the sideline. Cleat cleaners, which we don't need here, helmet parts padded knee pads, spare gloves, more helmet parts. A lot, a lot going on in this trunk. Sometimes we don't use any of it, but at some point in the season, we'll use something from here. So it's important that it's always here. This is a sp our spare jerseys, a spare jersey for every player on the team in here. And the reason we have these on the sideline is in case a jersey tears to the point where we can't fix it, we'll try to fix it. If it's a small tear, we'll sew it. But if it just rips completely down, you got to replace the whole thing. That's what this is for. And then this is also, if a player keeps a ball during the game, he scores a, his first touchdown, or it's a big touchdown, and we need to put his ball somewhere, we put the number on it, and we put it in this trunk. Hi, everyone. It's Carmen De Leon. We're two and a half hours away from singing the national anthem, and I'm feeling very nervous and excited, and I just want to get out there now. So we'll do a rehearsal with her at 10.30 today so that they have a clear expectation of what they're walking into today, where they're going, who they're meeting, um, where they need to be, you know, any special requirements she has about, you know, in-ears, wedges, you know, certain mic placements if she wants it on a stand. We work through all that with her um, ahead of time so that when she comes in, she's ready to roll. Stand by to cue Anthem. Stand by and go Louie. Now, now please stand. Please stand. Yeah, she's great. We give her a range of 90 seconds to two minutes. Um, depending on how long she goes in rehearsal, we will then fit that into the script and kind of back time it to when we start the anthem because we have a very specific moment where we want to end it. So as we're going through pregame, I think there's always a little bit of butterflies. You know, there's a lot of moving parts. So that's why we're gonna rehearse the hell out of it so that when something goes a little awry, we're prepared to, you know, we have the mental bandwidth at that moment to deal with it. We can make 140 work. Sounds good. Yeah, she sounds good. <laughs> All right, we are wrapped with anthem rehearsal. It's time to say hello in person to Kay Adams right here hello. in studio. Good to see you. Let's get your fantasy lineup set here. And how about Mike Williams? Six catches in the last three games combined. It's rich. I think Herbert gets him a touchdown. I'm going to SoFi. Okay, good. Score a touchdown, Mike Williams, and bring it to me, baby. Let's go. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm Kay Adams from Good Morning Football. And I I'm at NFL LA, I spent the morning here. Now look at me, I'm crossing the street and it's a beautiful LA Sunday. Go to cheer on the Chargers up against the Vikings. I've never been to SoFi, I cannot wait. The first thing I do when I get to the stadium is usually check out everyone's fit. You know, like walking in, you know, like see what everyone's got going on. You know, I'm in year five of the NFL, and so I've definitely seen the progression of myself and just my teammates and what everyone else is wearing. I'm like, you know, like, you know I, I kind of want to look good on game day, too. Most of our games will be at 1 o'clock Pacific, so we're lucky that we have 10 a.m. games going on when our gates open. 
So we do something called the world's largest sports bar. So we take over the entire infinity screen and we can show up to eight games at a time. So as gates open, we have this like massive spectacle that fans can just walk in and appreciate right away. Welcome to SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles, where today the Minnesota Vikings take on Justin Herbert and the Los Angeles Chargers. Here we go. For those of you joining us here at SoFi Stadium for the very first time, welcome. welcome. Let's go, boss, baby. We are officially one hour away till kickoff. Let's go, Charger fans! All right, fans and filters right now, Ben. That's actually really cool looking. Take one and go mustache. There you go. Ready, well, 12, and take 12. We should have uh, quarterbacks running out. Oh, we're wearing the yellow pants. I love it. This is my absolute favorite look. It makes me feel like we're bolting up. All and right, I got number 10. All right, I've got a full takeover for him. And yeah, your quarterback, number 10, Justin Herbert. And here's the full takeover. All right, and take three. All right. Miles underneath, and we're out in four. All right. Three. What is coming out? Two, one, and we're out. One. And is all six. Go six Louis. is up. Stand by Danny. Right now, let's check in with our guy, Danny Hoyt. Three. I think he's at the energy two. stage right now. Danny, where one. you at? And Go take Danny. 12. We got DJ Vic one here providing the tunes, the vibes all day long. Protect the ball. Let's go. Protect the quarterback and play your mother ass off. Let's go, yes, sir. Let's right. play. Let's, go. let's make it happen, baby. You already know. Where's the beast? We're 20 minutes out from kickoff, which is awesome. I am waiting for the players and everybody to get all set in the locker room. Um, as soon as they close those doors, we're able to turn all the lasers and lighting on. And then a few minutes later, we'll start fogging the whole thing to create that atmosphere we talked about. Standing by, right into spoken word and then into our visitors. Every, Every journey, journey has an origination and a destination. And so Love it. 15. So good. Viking Lord may claim the thunder. Hold in! But we bring the light. Now. Step by step. Six. Eight. Seven. We bolt four. Six. Oh and five, five. Four. Three. Two. One. Two. And go, so go. Six. Go, Louis. Send the team. Steven. Oh, now entering the field. Them. Here come the bad guys. Go ahead and send our team, Roger, and count in our video. Four, All we three, like to still on, two, Sean. one. We'll test off. her and track it. It's getting fun, everybody. Oh All right, All right DJ music to the hallway. Sending it. I want to talk about the Los Angeles Chargers. This one first. It's hard to not there be excited. Go. It's hard to not be excited. Charger football is exciting football. Standing by to send the team. Well, you haven't seen anything yet. I got Here you. Here we go. Go, Louis. Los Angeles makes a noise! Here they come, everybody. And go, Louis. And now let's meet the Chargers starting defense. First player. Uchenna Nuosu. And next. Nice. Love that shot on those. Big, 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 It's time to get up. It's time to get loud. Give it up for your Los Angeles Chargers! Once the player intros happen and everything went off as it should, that was like this breath of fresh air that like almost gives you the chills. Stand by the Q anthem. I have sang in a, at a stadium, but not as big as this one, so I'm going to be very nervous. <laughs> but I'm going to do what I know what to do best. And um, make everyone happy and their ears be happy. <laughs> Anthem in three, two, one. Now, now if, if you, you may, may please stand to welcome, welcome Carmen, Carmen De Leon to, to perform, perform our, our national, national anthem. anthem. Animate off. Anthem all around, everybody. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. All right, we're looking good, guys. We're going to... And Anthem right on time. I certainly love my job. You know, working all week, when it comes to game day, it's not really a work day anymore. That's the day where we're actually getting to do what we love. When you get out on the field to start the game, 
and everybody's in their uniforms and look back and say, hey, we're done. But I think the best feeling is after you win a game and we help win and it's a good feeling. We might not be the, like the bricks that build the building, we're the mortar that keep everything together. We want it to be so when you leave the stadium, win or lose, you had a good time. Three, two, one, go Soto. Oh, nice timing. Hell yeah. Tails is the call. Stand it by. It's heads, you won. They're going to defer. Minnesota will receive. Good luck, gentlemen. Go, Danny. All right, you guys ready to get this party started? Let's go, Chargers! Fire! Yeah, this is game time. Charger fans, are you ready? Fans and fanfare all around. Show that energy. It's time for Chargers football, baby! Here at SoFi Stadium, we are underway. Awesome.